Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the fourth episode from The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. We're already halfway and up to now we've gotten three really good episodes, so I'm really excited for the next one. Before I start, I want to tell you that you can get early access to the episodes every week on my Patreon. The link is in the description and on there you can also find my full reactions to the episodes. So yeah, just my full reaction to the full hour of the episode. Uh, like I said, if you're interested, link is in the description and uh, yeah, Today, episode four. In the previous one, we saw that Rick wanted Michonne to escape, but he kind of realized like, okay, she has to get out of here. But if I don't help her from within, she's not going to get out. So he was just trying to get her out, but she was obviously not going to leave without Rick. Uh, so it ended with them being in a helicopter and Michonne pushing out Rick. And I was like, what the hell is happening? And like, they're probably going to be fine, but I'm very much wondering uh, how they're going to continue their journey now. So uh, let's check it out. What's the funny music? Oh, so it still has to happen. Yeah, okay. Did they know where to go or was this just a random building they ran into? I, I think so, right? Like if they planned out where to jump out of the helicopter, that, that would have been one hell of a thing. But it's like everything was just ready for them. It was just like, welcome home. And, and the radio was on already. And hmm, I'm kind of wondering right now, is there maybe someone living there? Or I don't know. Let's see. We needed a timeout. I can't believe you did that. Okay. I can't believe you said that. Your preferred temperature will be reached in 10 minutes. Yeah, because at one point I started to like doubt if Rick was in on this, but yeah, as far as we knew he wasn't, so he wasn't. What the hell is this place? <laughs> All the lights are on and yeah, I guess it's a smart house, but it was like that already, right? Imagine just chill living there in the zombie apocalypse. Wow. Oh, but no food. So there's no one living there? It looks very clean though. Chill clothes. Let's go. You lose yours, huh? What is that? You want to call them here? Oh, the walkie, I think. He looks so confused. It's like he's been fully indoctrinated by by the CRM. This was one of my faves growing up. Free-spirited, just like Judith. I loved her so much. I thought I was meant to be a writer for a while. But... <laughs> Taught that too when I was a child. Then art history and creative writing. Then I dropped out. Oh, huh. I did creative writing too. Bit of a creative writer these days. That note, getaway boat, poetry. <laughs> Damn. Another masterpiece for your children. I'm gonna be the one to tell them that I found their father, not to come home to them. Children. You said children. Is it finally gonna happen? His name is Rick. We call him RJ. I was pregnant when the bridge happened. He's almost eight. Okay, so that's how long Rick has been there. You need to give me the PRB. What? I just told you you have a son. I don't know who you are anymore. Mm -hmm. Are kids believing you were alive and you were? You had to you wanna be with you? I tried, I tried everything. We need to go back. Bird temperature will be Where is that thing? <laughs> and nearly get yourself killed. I'm trying to get you out of here alive and you pull us out of a goddamn <laughs> helicopter. I don't like who you are with them. It isn't you. You think? Your preferred temperature has been reached. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I expected her to finally tell him about RJ in this episode, but for some reason I didn't expect it right now in this moment. I really thought he was going to find out like at the end of this episode. and But it was just out of frustration that she was just like, your children, so. The one, the day Jadis brought me here. She brought you. She will destroy our home if I try to leave. Making her let you go. I got that much out of her. You want me to go? 
I want you to live. Yeah, he wants you to be safe with the children. But, like, I get both of their sides. Like, don't get me wrong, but... <sighs> She's threatened by us because together, you and me, she thinks we could do anything. We can. First, hide everyone we know. If we get there in time, you want to risk that? We kill her then. So people will find us if we did that. I think now Michonne understands it more, though, why he's doing what he's doing. Why all the bullshit? I had to get you out. To lie? We go back. We find her evidence. We destroy it. We kill her. And then we go home. It's still a big risk, I think. Do you think we can do anything? Pretty sure they can. Because I do. What did they do to you? We need to go back. And after that? I mean, I'm also kind of trying to realize, like, Rick has been there for eight years, so... Yeah, try living somewhere for eight years and not kind of starting to think people might be right, you know? I've never stopped loving you. Don't know if that's the right word, but you get what I mean. They're just kind of brainwashing him. Okay. But I know what he's doing is mostly just to keep Michonne safe and get her back to the children, but yeah. That's our helicopter. Oh. You saved our lives. Oh, pretty random when you look outside and it's like, oh, our helicopter. Yeah. We can go home. Jadis will think we died in there. They all will. I don't think Jadis will believe that, but this is a great start. No. What did you say? I'm not going home. <sighs> Why? You know, your son... The one you haven't asked anything about. He calls you the brave man. He started calling himself little brave man. <laughs> I loved that. Nat, my friend who your people killed. They're not my damn people. He said that I had to keep looking for you. He knew how it ended, but he still had my back. You can't really keep saying they're not my people and in the meantime wanting to be with those people, so... Sorry, Rick, but you're not getting a pass for that. At least try to look for a solution here. This is not what I had in my head at all. Just, just to get this straight. We just got a way out. They think we're dead and you want to stay with an army that kept you against your will. I have to make sure you're protected. That's not it. I have to keep them from coming for our home. They could one day. One day? Like, you're not even sure. I stay and make sure Judith and our son are protected from His name was Okafor. He wanted me to become a part of the CRM, move up, help him change it. So I gave myself to his mission. His mission. Yeah, like, sorry, but why would you give your entire life to change this community you don't even really want to be part of? You have your own life. You don't owe anyone anything. I saw you. You have a family. Exactly. You're trying to uh, keep us safe. By maybe changing the CRM one day. Who might come after our home and put it in danger. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. That's it. You won't come home with me? To your life? The kids? I don't want to do this. I have to. So no. That's not it. Yeah, there, there has to be more. Back to my kids who I left to find you. I found you for you yeah i tried to reason with you everything she went through and then he behaves like this like she has every right to be mad as hell right now you're lying like how are you gonna tell this to your kids like oh yeah i found your dad but he doesn't want to come home to us because there is this community he finds way more more important even though he hates them like uh Come on, do something. This is not the Rick we know. Uh, poor Michonne. Just go. Really? Okay, please catch up with her. If there is any trope I hate, it's the trope of people splitting up because of a misunderstanding or a miscommunication. I don't know. What I mean is her walking away right now and then him just being like a few seconds too late. Oh, human. They 
are looking for them. Oh, destroy the evidence, I guess. Okay. Hmm. So, <laughs> he came to his senses, I think? Oh, scientist walkers. They destroy any evidence that they exist. That's why they took out the helicopter. It's just time. When I conceived of Greenwood, it was so clear. Like-minded innovators in various fields seeking to live off the grid. Progress and redemption through innovation is now like a sick joke to me. I cannot go another day, continue to watch our mission die. Oh. Let me be remembered as one who refused to leave the world the same way I found it. When folks try to save the world their own way, it tends to go to shit. Sound familiar? Mm-hmm. Just like this place. They thought they knew it all. Except without the killing of innocent people. Except that part. The city stands. Keep throwing the shade, Michonne. Keep throwing it. <laughs> you still don't. Signing up for lifelong duty to the enemy? Mm -hmm. This is what I need to do to keep you safe. The only time I feel safe is when I'm with you. So that's what I tell your son. That his father didn't want to know anything about him because he was so afraid. Doesn't sound like a brave, brave man. man. No. You shouldn't have come. <sighs> How is she gonna get through to him? Because I, I feel like he's just so indoctrinated that he doesn't really know what he wants anymore that, that he thinks this is what he wants but i feel like that's why i also feel kind of bad for him but i feel like there has to be a way for michonne to get through to him she's tried everything of the CRM. even telling him about his son that didn't do anything you keep lying to me you think i'm not beating myself up for not being with my kids right now that's why you should go and you should go with her okay I don't know who you are. No, like I said, not the Rick we know. Because the man I knew would never talk to me like that. Ever. Time for some gym. Oh, he's using a shield. Pretty smart. There is this kind of like hostility between them and I don't like it. Oh my god, Phantom of the Opera. The chandelier is gonna fall. I know that. <gasps> do, 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 do. It happened. I can... okay, on count of three. Okay. Damn, is it that heavy? Fuck, she's gonna be stuck there. Oh, oh, just great. Yeah, as she's never leaving without him, he's not leaving without her. As in, in a dangerous situation, I feel like he's totally fine with leaving her. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. That was a little over dramatic <laughs> like in the end he just had to like use all his strength and then it was fine but just to be like you gotta leave me <laughs> like nah it's like the titanic leaving jack to drown while there was clearly space on the thing luckily they're both alive now are they back in the apartment Welcome home. <laughs> this is so stupid or is this just another apartment that looks exactly the same maybe rest up i don't know I feel like they're in this sort of situation where they're not really getting out right now. Like, he wants Michonne to go. Michonne doesn't want to go without him. They keep getting back into, like, a situation where they're gonna talk again and talk again. And now I feel like they just don't know what to do anymore. So, yeah, just time for... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe Rick will change his mind then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. It's a weird situation, but because I, I felt like 
they were going to have like a sex scene somewhere in this episode. I actually thought it was going to happen in the beginning when he was looking at her, but it was more like looking at the scars, I, I guess. But then like Michonne was so mad at him and then I was like, yeah, hmm, but weird situation. They're just having sex and crying. <laughs> he looks like me, so he's really good looking. <laughs> it's nuts how much she looks like you. Save the light brown skin. It's hard to tell I had anything to do with it. <laughs> and he's stubborn. Just like his daddy, yes. I feel like Rick's mind is changing already a bit. Like, this is indeed the first time he's actually asking about his son. So, I don't know. Rick is, Rick is indeed so stubborn right now. I don't know what to think of this, of what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, what? I just got one when it started. That's kind of what, so what I was... Um, oh, yeah, okay. That's why it's so clean in there. I was just thinking, like, yeah, it's a smart house and they have all this advanced technology. But I just kept thinking, like, yeah, but The Walking Dead started in, like, 2011, maybe earlier. So I always have to keep in mind, like, yeah, they don't have, like, the technology we have right now. That's, of course, why they also had the iPhone 3 with the drawings. Something has to burn to bring it back. What? If I could change the CRM. Shut the fuck up, Rick. You're still lying to me. Mm-hmm. You can change the CRM You're by yourself. yourself. And like, even if you could, why would you want to? You have a family. This mark on your back. It was the woman that I led into Alexandria. College buddy. Well, you knew her? Do you see that? I, I vaguely remember this, yes. Searching for you every day. Me and Daryl. It's of course been a while. I couldn't stop believing you were still out there and needing help. Me. Yeah, think of fucking Daryl who ended up in France because he was looking for you. Think about all your friends who kept looking for you. She stole Judith and some other kids. Yeah. She was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did this to me and Daryl. Yeah. I don't want to go into how. You killed her? Yes. Good. Why did I know he was going to say that? You did this to get away? It was the only way. Yeah, and then you still didn't get away. Now you do have a chance to get away. And... Okay, I'm just gonna shut up right now. I'm just repeating myself. You're still trying. I see it, even through the bullshit. You say you can't go home, but I don't think you can go back. I'm sorry for what they did to you. Running out of time. No. Show them. We need to decide what's next. I couldn't just let you go. It felt like my heart rip, ripped itself out of my chest and walked out the door. Then come home with me. Yeah. It's that simple. It's not because it's gonna feel the same if she leaves and you're just gonna let her go back and not go with her. Trying to recover with Nat for a year. They took a year from me, from my time with my kids. I lied to you. I don't know how Judith is. She stopped answering the walkie. They've taken so much from us. Why give them any more? This hope that you have in the CRM? Sacrificing yourself? It's not real. Our love? This? It doesn't get denied. It's hurting me, Rick. You're hurting me. And I know you. That is not how you love. Damn the monologues, though. What did they do to you? Try to tell me what is really going on. Yeah, I'm also really wondering about that because all we know, right, is that that he doesn't want Carl. Carl. I lost him again. Oh, so he doesn't like remember him when or? I got taken. I fought and I fought. I'd meet up with Carl in my dreams. No. <laughs> and that's how I survived in here. And then one day he was just gone. He just left. But then I started dreaming of you and it kept me going why do you always go to mention carl <laughs> like i get why but it makes me cry without you i die you can't just come back here make me come alive again if i don't know if i won't lose you again what if i lose you and i can't figure out how to die all over again i can't that's what he's afraid of <laughs> damn okay <laughs> At least if I think you will live on longer than me, do I can just believe that it's true. Knowing <laughs> that loss. That is not a healthy way. I won't survive that Michelle. I just won't. 
So basically what he's saying right now is that he finally kind of got over her. And then he sees her again and now he's scared to lose her again. But if he doesn't go with her, he'll never know if she's alive or not. And he can just think she is. <gasps> Coral. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. If Carl were here right now, what would he say? Yeah. Think of that. What would he want you to do with this new chance to be with those you love? I found you, Rick. You think that's all for nothing? For us to just go our separate ways? No, we go home, Rick. That's how we make it all make sense. We love on each other as hard as we can, while we can. I feel like now that he's finally being honest, they can finally have like a conversation that makes sense, you know? And maybe now she might finally get through to him. I swear, if he's still gonna be like, no, I need to go back to the CRM, then I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, they, they look like a team again. I think he wants to go back now, so... Yeah, teamwork. <laughs> Better than what we saw in the previous scene. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay. He doesn't know how to do that? <laughs> or do they just want to make out? No, okay, he really wants Michonne to drive, okay. Stick shift electric car. <laughs> Beth and all the hybrid. Oh. They equipped us with enough to get home. Oh. We can make this whole damn world ours if we want. Yes, we can. That sounds like something I say. It is. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I think we're slowly seeing another Rick again. <laughs> and there goes the building. Just in time. <laughs> yeah, he's back. The end. Okay, so I feel right now like this was really uh, a mentally challenging episode for them. As in, yes, we saw some fights with the walkers and we saw that the CRM was looking for them, kind of destroyed the evidence or whatever. They were like blowing up the helicopter. But in the end, the whole purpose of this episode was just Michonne finding out why Rick didn't want to go back. Because like I said too, um, all we know is just like he doesn't want his kids and Michonne to get hurt. And I don't think he really talked about, like, the real thing yet. So that was also, like, a surprise for us. So I was also wondering, like, yeah, as far as we know, he just doesn't want to see around to come after them, right? But yeah, there really was some deeper trauma right there. And um, it started with Carl when, they, when he was like, they took Carl. And I was like, what? In what way? And then he explained the, the whole dreaming thing. And I was like, oh, okay, like that. Um, and then apparently that happened with Michonne too. Because of course, in the first episode, we did see the dreams of Michonne. Like, of course, what he's saying, it, it's like, it's a fear. You kind of have to get over at that point. Because it's not really like a realistic fear. As in, I get what he means. He, he finally got over like... Not being with her and just thinking like, ah, uh, it's fine. She's probably safe. I think he finally got over that for himself. And then she's back and he's instantly afraid to lose her again. And just the way he explained, like, you're the love of my life. I, I can't lose you. Just thinking you're alive is enough for me. And that he's so scared to go with her and lose her again. I mean, yeah, that were some deeper issues. We could see that. So honestly, at some point it got a little annoying because like I said, the episode is a little repetitive. As in the first thing we see is them talking like, oh, you have to come with me. No, Michonne gets angry again. Every right to be angry because Rick was being pretty annoying. She gets out, he gets out, they fight some walkers, they get back. He still says, no, I don't want to go with you. And he kept saying that. And then they had sex and then suddenly it was like, okay, Maybe it's fine now. Maybe he realized, okay, I this is like really the life I want. I want to be with her. I want to be with my children. Um, also because they, they kind of started talking afterwards. And I was like, okay, maybe she's getting true to him now. And he was still like, no, I have to stay here. So after the third time, I was like, okay, 
If you're not gonna tell the truth right now, just say one more time, no, it's because I want to make a better CRM. Like, I, I think I said enough about that during the episode, but first of all, why? And second of all, if you're able to do it, it's not your responsibility. So, eh. And then luckily he, he told the truth why he didn't want that. But that's why I think like this episode, it was like in this building. And I have to say, I think they did a good job though. Like, Maybe this episode wasn't as strong as the other three episodes. It was still really good. It was a mental challenge for them. And, and that made it so different. But I have to say, I think they did a really good job with this. Because then I'm just kind of trying to think back of The Walking Dead. Like the, the normal show. Um, when I start thinking about two characters. Like they, they used to have those episodes. And I remember when we saw episodes like that. Where it was just two people in, in one room the entire episode. Or one place. I got pretty bored and then I was like, oh, I don't like this episode. But this episode, I have to say, I didn't feel bored one time. It was like, okay, maybe it wouldn't be an episode I would like really rewatch really fast. Um, because it's kind of like, yeah, okay, we kind of got the clue now. We found out what was going on. Sure. But it didn't, like, I think they did a good job with like keeping the viewer there, you know. Like, I wanted to find out what was going on. I wanted to know what was going on with Rick. And now to finally, yeah, see him find out about his son. Like I said, I didn't expect him to just find out at the beginning of the episode. It kind of came as a shock for me too. But yeah, Michonne kind of said it out of anger, but also out of a way to maybe, yeah, make him realize, oh shit, I have two children there. I need to go back. Um, didn't work at first and like she said he didn't ask a thing about him and then like later in the episode he started asking some things about him and then I also thought like okay yeah he's starting to get interested he's starting to maybe realize like oh I also have an obligation there um, so yeah I'm glad they're on like one level again um, just the really childish thing with the fighting when they both like hit the same walker and then he did the thing with the blood and Michonne was like, really? I was like, whoa, this is the first time maybe I don't really see them as a, working as a team right now. Normally they're really working well as a team and yeah, just killing the walkers together. This wasn't really nice teamwork. And then in the end we saw them kill the walkers, get to the car, and then we really saw them fighting as a team again. So yeah, I like that they did that too. Two episodes left. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope they're gonna get back soon. Um, I'm also wondering, um, yeah, what the CRM is gonna do now, if they're gonna find them, stuff like that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the next episodes. And uh, let me know what you thought of this episode. And if you wanna see my full reaction to it, you can check out my Patreon. You can also get early access to the next episode next week. And if you like my reaction, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next week. Bye.